My name is Kimberly Turpin, and I live in Reseda, California. I was in the middle of delivering my baby boy when I was assaulted by my doctor. When I tried to hold him accountable, I was shocked to learn that a law that has not been updated since 1975 limits the rights of survivors like me. My pregnancy went very smoothly, and I didn't have any morning sickness or gain a lot of weight and there were no complications. I felt great and I was just excited to meet my baby. At the hospital, I had just began pushing when my doctor walked in with surgical scissors in his hand and I didn't know why. The baby was not in distress and there were no medical issues, but the doctor repeatedly insisted on cutting me. I pleaded with him not to use the scissors and asked him why many times, but he went ahead and performed a full episiotomy without my consent. Once I got home, I decided I needed to do something. I wanted to fight back on behalf of other women who have been abused and whose concerns are ignored during childbirth. I sought a lawyer but was denied representation over and over again. That's when I learned about the law set in 1975 that caps survivor damages in medical negligent cases. I eventually decided to file a case on my own. I never want another mother to be harmed in childbirth or navigate her case alone. Please join me to prevent this from happening to anyone else by updating the 45-year-old limits on injured patients' rights for today.